Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello everyone, we got a video request, uh, kind of a short one, <coughs> but uh, uh, kind of interesting one nonetheless if you're interested in Bitcoin. Uh, Randy writes in, I assume that fiat money, US dollars in particular, is already compromised to a point where the search for alternatives like Bitcoin will be in effect. How that will play out is what I was hoping you would comment on. The assumption you've made that Bitcoin undermines fiat is a chicken and egg brain teaser, the kind of thing economist type persons usually relish. Uh, give your opinion on how a transition away from fiat to Bitcoin would play out, play out in reality. Hope this answer is adequate clarification. Um, <clears throat> well, here's the thing. Uh, there's theory and then there's practice. There's theory and the real world. And in theory, I've already, I've, I've, I've really put my brain through the ringer trying to truly understand Bitcoin. Does it have value? It, does it have intrinsic value? Is it a money? Can it be used as a money? And is it superior to the dollar? And the answer is more or less, yes, Bitcoin is a money. It, I think some things do make it superior to the dollar. The dollar is just paper money, and we're printing it off left and right. However, just because on a fundamental theoretical economic level, or factually even, Bitcoin may be a superior currency, it doesn't matter what me and you and other people who study this kind of stuff think. It matters what the real world takes and accepts. And so, whereas, yes, it, you know, we could have the world's greatest currency. It could, you know, what was it, uh, beta versus v, uh, VHS, you know, or Betamax. You know, I guess Betamax was superior by every other uh, technical form and function, but we went with VHS because it had universal acceptance. So it is going to ultimately be up to the people uh, to accept a cryptocurrency. Now, how would that transition lay out? Well, I, I don't think it would be overnight or immediate, and and it would require adaptation by more and more people and the question is how quickly would it be adapted and some people have obviously already adapted I have Bitcoin uh, I invested in it but there's some hurdles both inherent with Bitcoin and with society that's going to make that transition I think long and drawn out and you're not going to see everyone rushing to Bitcoin so I don't think Bitcoin will replace fiat currencies for several reasons but you know, undermining uh, uh, a dollar or any other kind of fiat currency, it's it's gonna it's got an uphill long battle to do so. And here, just a couple of reasons why. So, right? Um, <clears throat> what is it? First, you have governments that are gonna try and do whatever they can to stop cryptocurrencies. If they're really threatened by it, they'll try and stop it. Again, I don't think I don't know how they can, but if they really want to, uh, they could always sh you know shut down the internet. You know, pull the electricity. We're talking really devastating war, but they could. So whether they go to that extent or not, or their security experts can hack it. Is it is it debatable that it's hackable or not? I I I'm not the IT guy. I just know that if government puts its mind to it, it can throw up some pretty significant hurdles to either shut people down with it. You know, start arresting people that have um, that have Bitcoin, even though it's anonymous. So they can they can put some headwinds into it to protect their fiat currencies. Uh, another one is that other cryptocurrencies can undermine their, their, you can have as many different cryptocurrencies as we want. That's the problem. I know they're mined. I know they're digitally mined, but that doesn't prevent other crypto. I think there's already like five or six other ones out there. So which one is the universal one? Not necessarily bad. We have many fiat currencies, um, but it, it behooves the question, well, okay, that individual cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, will only have, what, 21 million Bitcoins are going to be in existence forever? Well, yeah, but since they're pretty much the exact same currency, you can have infinitely more substitute goods, synonymous goods, other cryptocurrencies that makes it potentially super inflated uh, or hyperinflation. So that's another problem that, that you're going to run into. Uh, I've, it's complicated to trade. I'm sorry. It's a pain in the ass. I, I had Bitcoin. I don't trade it regularly. I just took a position in it so that I could have some. Uh, I, I do not use it to buy anything or sell anything like that. I don't pay for anything in Bitcoin. And I forgot. I don't know how to use it. Name. I don't know how to get back into my account. I forgot how the whole wallet thing. It's fucking complicated. It is. It really is. And I know the IT people. Oh, you just haven't tried it. 
for the average person, it's it, the complexity of using it and getting this up. And well, how's a wall word? Da, da, da. That's that's such a a lesson, such training you have to go through that people are gonna say, hey, "Fuck it, here's a dollar." You know, here's here's some one. Here's a yen. I got this right here. You know, and so that uh, learning curve is going to deter a lot of people and, and prevent it from um, being widely accepted. And then, frankly, people are dumber than shit. People don't. The percentage of people that talk about Bitcoin, this isn't to say if you don't know what Bitcoin is, you don't talk about Bitcoin, that somehow you're an idiot. But you, you gotta, you, you realize you asking a question about Bitcoin, your IQ is probably in the three digits and then some extra change on top of it. Uh, the vast majority of people don't care about Bitcoin. The vast majority of people are more concerned about Kim Kardashian's ass and whatever stupidity is going on in, in the gossip world that I'm unaware of. Uh, so asking these people to adapt cryptocurrency would be like you and me asking to research and study up on the Kardashians and write a book report about it. And we would be like, no way. <laughs> so just because you're surrounded by people of equivalent intelligence, you have very interesting conversation questions like that, you got to realize 95% of the people are not there. And the 95% of the people are doing their, their whatever it is that 95% of the idiots in the world do. So while you and I could see the merits of a cryptocurrency, while many people within these spheres and on the internet and people who are searching about want to study uh, Bitcoin, uh, they, they uh, you know, again, it, it's very academic, it's very theoretical. And we could be dead on right that cryptocurrency is superior to a dollar. It doesn't matter what we think. It's what the remaining 95% of those freaking morons out there who are too busy watching uh, basketballs and orange sears being thrown into rings and, oh, he slammed it. Oh, he, he slammed it again. Ooh, he, he got a three-pointer. Hot diggity. He shot that ball really far and it went into, my goodness. Now, now those guys have more more points than the other guys. And, and oh, but, but now they might come back. I mean, that <laughs> these people are not thinking. What was it? Homer Simpson, when they all, when the, when the isotopes, the baseball game, or the baseball team, the local baseball team. That's right, man. Tops all the way, man. We did it, man. Tops couldn't do it without us. So is that. So, um, yeah, I, I'm far, until those hurdles are resolved or, or problems solved, uh, I, I just see people defaulting to another fiat currency uh, if the dollar were to collapse, uh, one that would be more stable, perhaps backed up with industrial production like China or uh, India or someplace that actually has assets that produce physical things. Uh, or you have like a, a commodity-backed security, something backed by oil or gold, something that's a, a reserved current, like, hey, uh, you go into this central bank and we'll, we'll you know, silver certificates, gold certificates. Um, so they'll, they'll go with that simply because that financial system is already in place. Most people are lazy and they're, they're also familiar with it. They don't have to go and relearn, you know, cryptocurrency. Then we don't have to go learn about Kim Kardashian. Now, how it would actually take place, if it would, it would be a slow, lethargic, glacial movement where slowly but surely more and more people would have Bitcoin and then soon it, it would be kind of like, well, yeah, everyone's got Bitcoin. And then all says, well, I'm, I'm more convenient to pay it with uh, Bitcoin. I know like PayPal's a perfect example. PayPal's been out, what, 12 years or something? I'm finally getting around to using it. I'm like, oh my God, this is so convenient. This is so, <laughs> this is so easy. But it took a while. It took a while. So, um, and, it, and by that time, if you're having a flight from fiat currencies, that means the global financial current system is probably crashing or broken. And um, yeah, it, people are going to be scrambling for the the, ne the quickest, easiest forms. I mean, I think you're going to see cigarettes and um, you know other uh, bottles of booze, stuff that traded as currency in the Weimar Republic or the collapse of the Weimar Republic in hyperinflationary days uh, before everyone shifts to to, um, to cryptocurrency. So it would happen slowly. People would learn about it, kind of like how we learn to use the internet. Or you, learn to, you learn to use Facebook. You find, And then hopefully some things would be changed where it'd be a little bit easier to use and, and you don't have to remember whatever the mnemonic device is. And even then, I don't know how that works. Um, it'd become more intuitive and then it would slowly and naturally replace uh, these, these fiat currencies and, and be used as a medium of exchange. But I don't think it, I don't think war or anything, you know, a crash or anything will drive people to it so quickly that it's going to like, you wake up, you know, you go to bed one night and it, the dollar reigns supreme, you wake up the next day and it's Bitcoin. I, I don't see that happening. So it'd be 
slow and maybe in our lifetimes I mean, it certainly could happen um but you know people i mean really look people are they're driving they're flying to the dollar for security and safety our country sucks our fundamentals suck the only thing is we're the world's reserve currency that's and people still oh more money united states we don't care how you spend it Just, we'll lend you more money so, anyway, I know it maybe wasn't, I know you maybe wanted, oh yeah, cryptocurrency will usurp the dollar tomorrow. I, I wish it would be like that. That'd be interesting, but I don't think it'll happen that way. Anyway, send your questions and qu concerns or comments or go to assholeconsulting.com and I will I will give you my, my two Bitcoins. No, actually not two Bitcoins, that's pricey. I'll give you my fraction of Bitcoins. Toodles.